And today's new normal of staying six feet away, Netflix and chill has been replaced with sit over there and be still. If you're like most people, then you're looking for a way to connect with people online while laughing so hard you forget all about your Zoom fatigue and that awkward home haircut. Well, your search is over, my friend, because stand-up socials is an online experience that uses comedy as a conversation starter for people who like to laugh. And for the people who don't like to laugh, (laughs) well, there's always Craigslist. Uh, good luck getting back home. Stand-Up Socials gets people laughing by showing them short video clips of stand-up comedy and then placing audience members in breakout rooms. Once you're in these rooms, we will provide you conversation starters, you know, like, how do you rate that comedy clip? Or, what is one of your favorite sitcoms? And, how happy are you not to be on Craigslist? Yes! Over it with your Civic. Turn on Nickelodeon and get me a beer. Uh... She didn't last very long after that. Y'all have been so much fun. I'm Andrew Stanley. Keep it going. Give it up for Andrew Stanley. All right. That was Andrew Stanley. Very, very funny. Okay. For this next breakout session, the conversation starter is, what was one of your favorite comedy shows as a kid? That's right. So you have three minutes to discuss what was one of your favorite comedy shows as a kid. And I'll see you back here in about three minutes. As a kid, watched a lot of cartoons. I don't know if this technically counts as comedy, but I think so. Um, I watched a lot of like Adventure Time and like Total Drama Island. Um, if you guys know any of those shows, and then like when I was really young, I watched The Brady Bunch, which is like because I didn't have TV, and like the only things they had on DVD were in the library, and they had The Brady Bunch. So yeah, those are the things I watched when I was a kid. I think the uh, the cartoons is really big. Um, I used to watch like you know the, the younger cartoons on uh, the Nickelodeon and all and Cartoon Network were were huge for me. But when I found out that like my parents didn't want me to watch South Park and Family Guy and all these things, I used to watch those and like loved them because I thought I was being like a cool kid and breaking the rules um, and watching like inappropriate cartoons with my friends. So those were definitely big parts of my childhood. We repeat this process of comedy clip to breakout session several times with each breakout group being comprised of different people. Laughter is a genuine human reaction, so learning someone's comedy taste helps build genuine human interaction. By the end of your stand-up social, you will have enjoyed several comedians, connected with numerous people, and all while not having to wash your hands or stick things up your nose. Learn more, get your tickets, and cure those social distance blues by going to www.standupsocials.com.